This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Okay, so Meek Mill has made Takashi take down the video, uh, the Zaza video, because he's in the video. Now, I don't, usually on YouTube, you can't edit a video after it gets 100,000 views. I don't know if he's going to be able to or not. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, so Meek Mill has his legal team hit up Takashi's label and they want him to take the video down or not, you know, at least take Meek Mill's likeness out of the video. I don't, I don't know if that was a great move on Meek's part because it's a situation that happened and he's claiming that, you know, Takashi's bullying him in a letter from a lawyer um, it says, uh, it basically, it sums up that, you know, uh, Meek Mill, uh, they don't they don't want him, you know, they wanted to pass the letter on to um, Creative Music Group, which is Takashi's label, and they're using his likeness and commercial benefit without his authorization, and they demand they immediately cease and desist from uh, exploitation of client's image, and remove it from the video on all public platforms so they're going to probably try to work something out where they take it down for a second and then you know put it back up without meek in it but this doesn't look good for me because meek has done things like this in the past <laughs> you know like he's used certain circumstances to benefit himself uh in certain videos i'll have to go do more I, I know he's done that before and now he's claiming that he's the one being pursued, but Meek's treading. He, there's a lot of things that could happen here. You know, Takashi, the, first of all, WAC 100 could take Meek Mill to court now for recording his phone conversation if he wanted to be petty, right? Because Meek Mill illegally recorded somebody's phone conversation and posted it. That is illegal. Uh, nothing that could happen. Uh, Takashi could take Meek Mill to court over threatening him online if he wanted to do that. He probably should do that. I mean, you know, like just play, make it a level playing field because those tweets and everything, Bennett, you could argue that they benefit Meek Mill to make him look like, you know, the big tough guy to promote his music. It would probably have been better to just leave this alone and then also not talk about Takashi anymore. Because if everybody stopped talking about him, he wouldn't have any promote. You guys are promoting him for free. Yeah, that's just my point here. It just it just doesn't look good. You know, should, they should just leave it alone. Anyways, um, they did take the video down, so we'll see what happens with it. Uh, El Chapo's wife, Emma Cornell. Uh, I, I, Burrow, I can't say that name, so excuse me if it's wrong. Emma Ice, Ice Burrow, I think that's how you say it. Uh, rested on trafficking charges. I, I don't know about this. I think that they're just, she, I, I'm surprised she was in the States at all because be, just being linked to Chapo, um, they're going to want to take her down too. And. I think that's what they did. Uh, let me read it right here. So she was busted. Um, she's only 31 years old, busted in Virginia on charges of participating in conspiracies. Uh, she, you know, any all kinds of substances. She's also accused of scheming to help with hubby's July 11th, 2015 escape in Mexico. She was nabbed in Dulles International Airport. I, I love how we interfere with all you know, other countries' problems. <laughs> it's just crazy. But uh, anyways, they're going to, now they're going to have her go to court and before a judge in D.C. on Tuesday. Crazy. Anyways, it is what it is. Uh, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Appreciate you guys, and I'll check you guys in the next one.